there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today I have an unboxing and uh, it's what I'm super excited for. So you might have seen my last unboxing of a hopeful creation doll. Um, he has three separate sculpts uh, with three separate bodies. They are Anna, which I have back there on my shelf. Um, Pablo, which is the male sculpt. And then um, I'm gonna butcher the name. Pablo always teases me, but Alana. Um, and I've already named her Mercedes, so I'm just gonna keep calling her Mercedes so that Pablo doesn't come for me. Ooh. But this is another 3D printed uh, resin doll. And this time she's in a pastel pink color I requested. So I am extremely excited to get my hands on this girl and customize her. So I've already started cutting the box. That's how you know I'm excited. I have not even finished the intro. I am cutting the box. I am so ready for this bean. After Anna, I fell in love with her and I, was, I just love her so much. Um, I can't wait. It's like a Pokemon moment, like gotta catch them all. So again, this, the box opening is a little different this time, but I have the parts here and I've got some paperwork. So let's take a look at the paperwork first. So um, I have a care guide for each doll. So it's got the logo on this side. And then on this side, it's the same text. I know because I, I helped write it. Um, and then the sketches, the original doll sketches made by the bump. So yeah, super cute, just says, these dolls are 3D printed in high quality photopolymer resin. 3D printed dolls are more fragile than your average BJD, so please try to be more gentle with them. Do not boil the pieces or make the S-hook hit hard on the neck when removing the piece since it can cause breakage. When sanded, wash the pieces with a toothbrush and soapy water and apply a thin layer of hot glue between the pieces. For any questions, contact me at Hopeful Creation and then special thanks. And then I have my COA for Alana. She's Alana number two. Alana number one went to Pink Tesca, who did a really cute job of styling her. Okay, so let's start. I'm just gonna start with the little packages on top. And then the first one, oh, it's wigs. Oh, oh, this is, duh, this is her wig. So um, I have planned for, uh, they're both magical girls basically, but Anna is um, a mouse or a bear. I think she's a teddy bear. Mercedes is a bunny and she has a white bob wig. I love a white bob. So I'll put that to the side. And then we have, oh, another hollow wig. Um, when Pablo was making my full set wigs, he made, started one in um, the wrong size and he just made it in a slightly varied style for me. So now, um, my hollow can have a half up style or a different doll, I'm not sure, but super cute. Pablo's wigs are my favorite. If you're looking for a uh, wig that's like alpaca, but without the alpaca, check out Pablo. Um, he uses a viscose fiber. And then we have this one. Oh, so during my uh, taking was it taking um, pictures of Soda Pop and Hollow, or Soda Pop and Cricket in the beach in the Glitter Girl swimwear, um, Hollow had a, or Soda Pop had a mishap and she fell slightly into the water and just the back of her head got wet so her wig got a little crusty at the back. Um, it's okay, but Pablo really kindly offered to make me a new one. And here it is, beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I might try and salvage the other one into a different style and keep this one. So three wigs, not even a doll yet. Uh, this is already such a good time. Uh, the doll seems to be wrapped up um, in the main, but I've got a little package here. Oh, this is all my hands and stuff. So last time uh, he wrapped them separately, but he told me that that took 10,000 years, as I can imagine. Um, so instead he's kind of wrapped them all in bubble wrap. So here's the bunny ears with the extra magnets. If you're seeing the extra magnet, that's what that is. So these are uh, Mercedes bunny ears. I want to put these on now, but I'll show you at the end. Uh, we have, oh, these teddy ears. So cute. And then we have all the same hands as last time. So we've got like a 
I'm not sure what this sign is, but then like a flat hand. Um, we have like a loser, get in. We have an okay. Uh, we've got the not okay, a, a half a heart. There's so many hands that come and Pablo puts the meg, like if you're not getting the kit, if you get the kit, you do DIY piece, but like the time it must take to do all these magnets. Um, some kind of like defaulty hands. I don't even know which ones to pick. A rock on. I think I'm going to do the heart hands for, I don't know, I just feel like she's like a love bunny. And then we have, oh, the doll. She is beauty, she is grace. She is the cutest. I love her face. Okay, so she's wrapped in this like foamy stuff and then in bubble wrap. I believe that's the same as how Anna was wrapped. Oh my God, this pink is so nice. It's actually reminding me a bit of Wisp. Um, Wisp slash Ginny um, from my color palette, but uh, definitely a little pinker than that. But that same kind of fleshy pink. Fleshy is a weird word, huh? Okay, she's perfect. Um, she's the same jointing system as Anna, but she is slightly slimmer and slightly smaller in the thighs. Um, but besides that, pretty similar. I believe the chest is different too. But um, just, yeah, just a really cute doll. You can see her blank. Uh, the resin is really, really soft. She poses really well. If you saw my last video, I don't want to just assume everyone's seen it, but if you haven't seen it, uh, you can watch that and you can compare the two. But uh, Pablo does glue suede them when you buy them from like from the full dolls. But yeah, they're super poseable, uh, super soft, like for a 3D printed resin, like the quality is super nice. And then we have the bunny ears, which I have to attach. I just stick them under the wig with some putty, but um, the bunny ears will be like, like that. Does that make sense? So I guess I'll go ahead and style her um, and I'll be back with her all styled to show you. All right, so I'm back and I've got her styled. So everybody meet Bunny Mercedes. So I've given her her white wig and got her magnets placed. I gave her a kind of a bunny girl face up. So she does have a nose painted, which is a little different from how I um, painted who was obviously her sister, which would be um, Audi. So she's got her heart hands. She's, I don't know, I just, the eyes are actually my eyes from Moonlight Jewel. Um, they don't quite suit her, but I have to make her more and for this size and I just haven't. So. She's just wearing these for now, but I think they're cute anyways. Um, she wears YoSD sized clothes in my experience. Uh, not necessarily the pants, um, but skirts seem to work pretty well. And then she wears um, YoSD, like wide YoSD sized shoes. pleased with her here I'm gonna show you I also got the ears on um, Audi so let's see the, with the uh, the bear ears and the bunny ears they're really cute I love anthro BJD's um, they're a really cute style I'm really happy with them thank you again Pablo for sending me this girl and this girl I love them very very much and they make me super happy Thank you again Pablo for sending me this girl and this girl they make me super happy and they're so cute um, I really appreciate it if you like these dolls definitely go check out hopeful creations Instagram I'll link it down below um, but it's just at hopeful creation on Instagram and DM him and talk about getting one of these cuties because they are so so sweet 
If you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.